Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Chief Ozzy. Welcome back to another video of Clash of Clans. And today we're going to be talking about which defenses you should upgrade um, when you're at Town Hall 9. And um, this is something that like most people would ask at any Town Hall. So just going to be talking about the priority of uh, highest to lowest um, of which defenses you should upgrade. And if you guys have any defenses that you think I should mention on this list, then let me know. But I've got a couple of defenses that I can mention. I do have some uh, re logical reason of why I'll mention them, but yeah. Make sure you guys leave a like, uh, subscribe, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first defense that we're going to start with is the Hidden Tesla. Now, obviously, the Hidden Tesla is one of the most highest damage dealing defenses in the game. Um, Obviously, it has it's like really good against P.E.K.K.A.s, and only that it's a it's pretty much hidden. Like it got it's got the word hidden in it. So whenever you want a set set a surprise trap, the Tesla would do its job. Um, Teslas are pretty good for surprising enemies. I mean, they they do very well against P.E.K.K.A.s. So if you're trying it against a P.E.K.K.A., um, you can literally use the hidden Tesla to take it out, and uh, it will pretty much do its job. But hidden Teslas are a great way just to get your enemy off guard. They do a ton of damage, and they can definitely mess up someone's raid. I mean, I have, I don't, I mean, I have upgraded my hidden Teslas, but they're not like maxed out yet. But at Town Hall 9, you definitely want to uh, do the hidden Tesla first because it's like one of the highest damage dealing units for Town Hall 9, and uh, it will definitely help you in the long run um, for Town Hall 9. So yeah, make sure you get those hidden Teslas upgraded because um. They will serve uh, pretty good against P.E.K.K.A.s mostly, because the P.E.K.K.A.s do devastating damage. On top of that, the Hint Tesla can target air and ground, so that just makes it so that it's not vulnerable to any flying troops at all. So it can target almost anything um, that enters its radius, so yeah. Hint Teslas are the number one priority that you should upgrade, and I feel like if you upgrade your Hint Tesla, you will definitely make um, a big bang for your buck. Alright, so the next defense that you should upgrade is the air defense. Now, the air defense is just one of those defenses that are highly prioritized. Um, I put the second on the list um, because air defense is really important. Most people neglect their air defense, but once you upgrade your air defense to level 7, it does like 280 damage, which is um, the max for this level. Uh, level 7 air defenses are max for Town Hall 9. But yeah, level sun. I mean, yeah, level sun air defense is pretty OP. And uh, right now, like uh, flying units are the current popular meta of Town Hall Nine, and they still are. So you definitely want to get those air defenses upgraded as soon as possible because if you don't upgrade your air defense, you're basically gonna get demolished by dragons, balloons, lava hounds. And in fact, I keep being attacked by those uh, constantly. Um, in the past, I've gotten attacked by so many uh, flying type strategies. So. It's crucial that you upgrade your air defense. I know it's a pain in the ass to upgrade the air defenses, but trust me, it's got like one of the highest hit points and it does a lot of damage. So if you upgrade your defenses, you'll be pretty much protected against dragons, balloons, and lava hounds. I'm not guaranteed, but at least you won't get uh, too frequently attacked and it will help you win against air attacks. It's not too good against minions, do keep that in mind. So uh, yeah, but for the most part, it does, its, uh, it does a great job at taking out dragons um things like balloons and all that stuff you definitely want to have defenses against those or you'll end up like me who gets demolished and most people don't upgrade their defenses because it's expensive and i understand that but all my air defenses are maxed up for town hall 9 and uh yeah i feel pretty good about it so i haven't gotten attacked by any air attacks recently so yeah feeling pretty safe and yeah their defense is like one of the highest priorities you should really upgrade their defense um if you don't have your air defenses upgraded, I suggest you start upgrading them because it will help you out and that way you don't just get attacked by air attacks because air defense is the only thing that targets air units basically so and it's the most powerful um, defense for air types, uh, for anti-air types, for uh, air type troop strategy so make sure you get it and uh, just keep in mind that it cannot target anything on the ground so do protect it and it's only air so yeah. Air defense is the second highest priority on the list for defenses, and I uh, hope you guys do upgrade those. Alright, so on to the next defense, and that is the Wizard Towers. So Wizard Towers are one of the most awesome splash damage units. They do like um, 40 damage at Town Hall 9, which is the maximum uh, level 7. And uh, Wizard Towers are just great for taking out hordes of troops. 
um, especially the minions. So this kind of covers the weakness for the air defense. Um, while the air defense can't target like multiple minions, wizard towers can take out groups of minions, groups of infantry, basically anything that can overwhelm a single target defense. And it just does so much damage. And it's just really great for hordes of enemies coming your way. Um, it doesn't do too good against uh, air type troops, just keep in mind. I'm talking about such as dragons and balloons. Uh, you should use air defense for that, but wizard towers are good for minions, they're good for barbarians, archers, witches, skeletons, all that. So uh, if you're doing high level gameplay, you definitely might have the uh, wizard tower upgraded because if you don't, you're going to get wrecked by hordes of infantry and uh, that will definitely uh, get in your way uh, for a long period of time. Also, it is recommended that you do pair the wizard tower with the motors so that way it can cover the motors blind spot because unlike the motor, uh, the wizard tower doesn't have any blind spots, so it can attack almost in a 360 degree radius and anything that comes near it. So uh, yeah, wizard tower is just one of the most deadliest uh, defenses in the game because of its splash damage and uh, the amount of HP it has is ridiculous too, 1200, that's crazy. And uh, yeah, that will definitely pack a punch, so make sure you do upgrade their defenses because they will protect you a lot more than you can imagine. Okay, so the next defense in line is the Archer Towers. Now, obviously, the Archer Towers are pretty good. Um, they do a lot of the damage at level 11, uh, 70 damage per second, which is a lot. Now, the Archer Towers are like a step up from the cannon. Um, literally, they're better than the cannon. Um, mostly one, because they target both ground and air, so they're not vulnerable to air attacks. And uh, two, they do, I think, a higher damage than cannons. And uh, three, they have a lot more hit points, but air def I mean, yeah, but archer towers are good at point um, point defense, which means you should put them on the outside of your base, and they can reach in long ranges. They have like 10 tile range, uh, like five more tiles than the cannons, so they can reach a lot further, and they can snipe out basically any troop that comes near your base or anything that could possibly lure your clan castle. So let's say like the barbarian, uh, people try to uh, lure out your troops with the Barbarian, they won't be able to do so because the Archer Towers just constantly snipe any troop that, you know, uh, gets close to the Clan Castle or the base, so definitely I recommend upgrading the Archer Towers. Um, Archer Towers are really good, uh, they do high damage, and uh, it's just really impossible to pick, pick off a 1 star if uh, the Archer Towers are like literally shooting at you, so make sure you upgrade them. 70 damage is a lot, it can one shot almost anything that's below uh, level 6 troops. So yeah, make sure you upgrade those archer towers and uh, you'll be thanking them uh, soon one day. Alright, so the next one on the list is pretty obvious and this is the cannons, which is the brother of archer towers. Alright, so the cannons do 74 damage, a little bit more than the uh, archer towers, but cannons are still good. Um, They're not as tanky as the archer towers, but they have a thousand hit points. Um, they can only target um, ground, so they are vulnerable to uh, air type attacks, and it was actually nine tiles, not five. I'm sorry, uh, one tile away from arch tower. So, cannons are pretty much good for upfront defenses, so you should pretty much put them in the front lines that way, like on the outside of your bases, so they can take out troops. They're pretty good, they're good against um, giants and uh, giant, uh, giants, wizards, barbarians, all that, so they can really hit hard. And yeah, the cannons do a ton of damage. I know that, um, I know that many people don't really upgrade their cannons too often, but trust me, cannons do a ton. And if your opponent is having a hard time getting past your uh, point defenses, they won't be able to make it into your base. And the cannon is one of the greatest defenses you can upgrade. Uh, I would recommend upgrading the archer towers first before the cannons, though. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, just for like four more damage, and it's a really good uh, uh, defense. Okay, so next uh, defense, uh, next defense on the list is pretty controversial. I think many people are gonna just give me backlash for this. Um, so next one is uh, the air sweeper, and to be honest, I'm not too big fan of the air sweeper. But like the air sweeper, while it doesn't do any damage, it pretty much annoys your opponent. Like every time you try to attack that certain bit uh, defense or certain building, the air sweeper just keeps on pushing away your troops, and you're just begging it, hoping that your dragons, your balloons can reach that building or defense to take it out, but the air sweeper just keeps constantly pushing it back, and the uh, archer towers and air defense keep attacking your troops. So yeah, air defense is, I mean, sorry, air sweeper is pretty good. I keep mixing that up. They both have the word air in it. 
So the air super is really good just for annoying your uh, annoying air type troops. So definitely upgrade this. The further you upgrade it, the uh, the longer the pushback is. And at level five, which is the max, I believe, is strength is 3.2 tiles, which is pretty far. And yeah, this thing can definitely give you an advantage against an air attack. Uh, so make sure you upgrade it. Uh, many people underestimate this thing, but if you upgrade it high enough, um, you can definitely make air attacks very difficult for your opponents. And I'll make it so that air attacks aren't that successful. So definitely do upgrade their defense. Uh, super. I keep mixing up the names. Um, so stupid. But yeah, air super um, has a ton of hit points too, so it can be one shotted. Uh, just keep in mind it is it only works on air, so don't use it for ground troops. And uh, yeah. Uh, it's pretty controversial, but still, I would upgrade it. I wouldn't really focus on the air super too much, but uh, it's kind of low on the list, so just keep that in mind. All right, so the next defense is the Expo, and the Expo is just one of my most favorite units. I mean, uh, you might think the Expo is just like single target and all, but it can switch from ground and air to ground, and it does like 80 damage, which is like way more than the cannon and the uh, Archer Tower combined. So basically just combine these two, it's just a com combination of them, and literally it does 80 damage. So this thing has an insane amount of hit points. It has 2300 hit points. It, it is a tank, so it can't be one shot by any means. And uh, its range is 11 tiles when it's on ground and air, but when it's on ground only, it's 14 tiles, so that's a pretty humongous range. And yeah, it does uh, a lot of damage, especially against barbarians, archers, goblins, wall breakers, and even giants pretty much, but uh, not too much. So yeah, uh, expos are pretty great. They can definitely mow down um, troops really fast, so make sure you upgrade them. I know that I'm upgrading my expos. Uh, they're almost finished. I think there's like three days left. So yeah, once you upgrade your expos, they'll do a ton of work for you, and uh, you won't regret it. So make sure you upgrade them, and yeah. Alright, so getting down to close to the list is the Bomb Tower. Now, honestly, the Bomb Tower is one of the worst defenses, honestly. Um, I wouldn't really focus on the Bomb Tower too much, but uh, the Bomb Tower does some decent damage, at least 32 damage. Um, its main purpose is just to get destroyed and then drop the uh, accidental bomb, which is uh, what it drops when it gets destroyed, and that does a massive amount of damage. But unless there's like a huge amount of troops near it, it's not going to really do much to it. So yeah, it doesn't have too much hit points, um, only 750. You could still upgrade it, I mean it's not bad, but uh, I'd prefer the wizard towers before the bomb tower. So yeah, definitely do that. Bomb tower, you should still upgrade though. Um, that accidental bomb could come in handy one day. So yeah, definitely upgrade the bomb tower. Uh, yeah, just don't focus too much on it though, because it's not going to help you too much in the long run. Yeah. Alright, so for our last defense, um, that is the motor. The motor is honestly, um, I mean, it's not bad defense, but the thing is, it's got a blind spot radius. I am a big fan of the motor, but with the blind spot radius, the motor makes it, it makes it very hard for the motor just to fire anything that cl comes close to the range. So if goblins get in close range of the motor, it's pretty much over. The motor's not going to be able to do anything. Um, same with giants, so yeah. Uh, the reason that's the reason why the motor is all the way in the least priority because of uh, its blind spot radius and like the fact that it fires pretty slowly so keep that in mind but yeah the motor is not bad but i would focus on it uh, a little bit later i know i focus on it a lot i definitely upgrade the motor in the beginning of the game but as you continue to progress on um it becomes less of a priority but uh, yeah still upgrade it and uh, yeah that pretty much is it but, yeah that's me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this list. Um, let me know what your defense upgrade priorities are. I look forward to them in the comment section. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace out.